in today's exciting episode. Though also to be fair, I haven't read a Harry Potter book for a while. I would probably say roast potatoes are like one of the highest tier potatoes. That, that wasn't me, that was my, that was my brother. Um, batters. <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name is Battis and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we claimed our four fourth gym badge. Daniel doesn't know how to count today. And today we're gonna head through to Lavender Town, I believe, because there's some stuff to do over there. But the first thing I want to show you, before I get into anything else, is this. So when you shake your second Joy-Con, it adds a second person, right? But the way they do it is so silly. They just drop in from the stars. Like, <laughs> He's like, wait, come back, come back. Okay, he's like, I'm sorry, friend. I must go. My planet needs me. <laughs> we got Superman over here. That's okay. That's, no, wait, no, 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 go away, go away, go away. Your planet needs you. Your planet needs you. He's like, oh, yeah, sorry, my planet does need me. Never mind. But the second thing I want to show you is I did some leveling up on Komodo and my now Alakazam in between episodes. So we had our Magikarp evolve into Gyarados last episode and we had Abra evolve into Kadabra. Now I did do a trade with um, Sam, the Poke Spectre. You may know him as the creator of the Pokemon Sub Noodle ROM hack. Very, very good guy. Very good dude. Uh, traded with me so I could evolve Gerald into an Alakazam. Thank you very much to him. Uh, it is a serious nature, so not amazing, but it does have Substitute Psychic, Psybeam, and Calm Mind. I guess it learned Calm Mind when it evolved. I taught it Psychic myself, and it learned Substitute when it leveled up. So this thing's level up and learn set is actually super good. And I can buy the TM for Shadow Ball to make this thing absolutely just overpowered as frick. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, we have ourselves our Gyarados Komodo as well. I gave it Facade, I gave it Waterfall, I gave it Scald, and it has Bite as well. So it has really good coverage. Pretty decent, and that is nice. And I would like to actually see if I can get my... Oh, I have to have Sea Skim, but I can ride on Gyarados now, which is amazing. Let me take, uh, yeah, let me take Gerald out of his Pokeball, and we'll run around with him for a bit, because... Oh, you fly! Teach me how to fly, dude, please! But okay. Oh my god, that's insane. Imagine just walking around with your boy Alakazam at your back like this. Absolutely crazy. But the first thing we need to do is head down into the Rockets hideout, because... We have uh, cracked that bad boy open, or at least we have gotten Team Rocket to come back to Celadon. And now we should be able to uh, destroy these foreheads. But also, if you, uh, if you like the, some of the stuff that I do on YouTube, maybe you'll like some of the stuff that I do on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram too. So check the description for all the stuff that I do. Everything is down there. It's fantastic. You don't want to miss a thing. I, uh, I post stuff on Instagram as much as possible. I tweet every day, and I'm very good at tweeting. I'm very, very good at tweeting. <laughs> and I stream on Twitch every single day as well, so go follow me on there. All right, this is level 29. I am ever so slightly concerned about this situation. Yeah, level t and you lowered my defense immediately. Let's see, let's see what you got, Komodo. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I did not expect that from the animation. That's my first time seeing the waterfall animation. That's, that's insane. There are some animations for moves in this game, like one of them is Glitzy Glow, that are just absolutely super cool. Can you not please, for like one second? Jeez. All right, T-Ball, get this thing out of here. Like some of the animations in this game are incredible. Some of them aren't so much, you know, some of them are just copied and pasted from, you know, Sun and Moon, I guess to save time, I suppose. But they, re they redid some of them and they really put some effort into them, like Warfall. That's crazy. I really didn't expect that at all. At this rate, the location of the hideout's gonna be discovered. Time better to the boss. I got it. See, I have my Alakazam, my 200 IQ Alakazam, standing at my back, and he whispered in my ear, and he was like, "Sorry, she, Gerald, the woman Alakazam." Okay, the woman Alakazam. Ah, there they are. Hey, come on! Almost got it. Not so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the cube to another Team Rocket member. What's the moment taking a little break? How are we supposed to open up the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle, that's the best way to represent us. 
Oh, right. The rocket. Yeah, of course. The rocket. Yeah, sure. Hey, guys. What's going on? <laughs> oh, my God. They really just, like, they really throw it in front of you. You're not even gonna... Hi. You okay? You're not gonna acknowledge my existence? They are way too into the game. This is how gambling addictions can really affect your life. They didn't even notice their arch nemesis there sitting in front of them. If you know someone with a gambling addiction, addiction, you you make sure to help them because they they that's how it can affect their life. Just so you know, yo Gerald is gonna mince this place. Gerald is gonna pick this place up with his two spoons, pick it up with his two spoons, scoop it up like that, and just throw it away. It's what's gonna happen here. I heard that you can see ghosts with the subscope. Well, you heard correctly, sir. You did hear correctly. But let's see what you got then. You got yourself a Raticate? Please have like a poison type. Have a poison type. Hypno. That's literally the, the opposite of what you asked for. I should really get Shadow Ball. Look at Gerald. Yeah, look at Gerald. Okay, I have to switch out here. Level 29. Wow, I just did trading and apparently it wasn't good enough. Okay. But it's fine because I do have uh, my Arcanine. My big boy Arcanine, of course. Get in here, buddy. Big boy Arcanine. Oh, we dodge and hypnosize. All right, Heat Wave. This isn't going to do much because Hypno is pretty specially bulky. I will say that. Yeah, very specially bulky boy. Oh, Psybeam. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, we're, just, we're both specially bulky, apparently. Yeah, if you want to know where to get uh, Shadow Ball, it's in the Celadon Pokemon. If you didn't know. I didn't know that until I went and had to look myself, but uh, I should. I, I didn't grab it at the time because I didn't really have the money. In fact, I think it's like 30k. So chances are I might not even have the money to buy it. Money is a little hard to come by in this game from what I've seen so far. I mean, that might change as we go through it. Maybe that's not like some really easy way to grind money, but from what I've seen so far, money is not the easiest thing to get. Like 800 Pokebucks for that. It's not really amazing. Let's see. So if I have a look at my... Wait. Is it in my bag? How do I see my money? Oh, there. Thir yeah, 38k. I barely have enough money to buy the Shadow Ball TM, but I feel like it's worth it. Especially with psychic types like right running around. You got Mr. Mimes, you got Alakazams, you got Hypnos. And of course, oh, Team Rocket's gone. Oh, where, where did they go? <laughs> They're gone. All right, is the Floaty Fall guy here yet? The Floaty Fall guy isn't there yet. God damn it. All right, I'm going to go buy Shadow Ball. I'll be right back. All right, so Shadow Ball has been purchased. We have been taught to Gerald, and now we are working our way. I will come and save you one day, I promise. He's like, please. Send help, I've been trapped here for 30 years. No, wait, come back. <laughs> I will go and help him eventually. I don't have sea skim yet. You get that in like fuchsia, I think. I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I can't do everything at once. I am merely a small boy with a big brain and a big heart. At least, a, well, big hearts, maybe. Moderately sized heart. Not really too confident on the brain part, to be honest. All right. Also, I'm not a small child. I am in game, but I'm I'm not I'm not in real life. Okay, let me go ahead and pick up. There's a lot of stuff to get here. Hey, welcome to my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough, where my Alakazam will get constantly stuck on things. You okay over there, buddy? You know you can fly over it, right? No? Okay, that's fine. That's right, my Alakazam will constantly get stuck on things and clip through walls. This is possibly the greatest game ever made. <laughs> They they tried. I will say they get they gave it their best shot. I mean, I hope that's not their best shot, but they 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 did try. Hopefully, if they yeah, they're cl oh my god, he's clipping again. Alakazam, stop clipping through things. If I have to tell you one more time to stop clipping through things, you're going back in your Pokeball, all right? It's like all right, fine, jeez. Stop clipping, okay? It's making, it's making everything look bad. All right, let's go back and grab this. Get ourselves a TM for rest, which I will never ever use. I guarantee you. <laughs> Alexander's like, I hate this place. I get stuck literally everywhere. This sucks. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Yeah, you can't even go on the spinny pads. Poor guy. Oh, there you go. You can move now. And no. <laughs> go back in the Pokeball. Jesus, he must be getting like motion sickness from being thrown on and out of the Pokeball every two seconds. Like, geez. I feel a little bit bad for Gerald. I keep saying he, it's a female Alakazam, sorry. It's a female Alakazam. Hey girl, what's this going on with you? You wanna, you wanna throw down? Intruder uh, alerts! Am I the intruder? I am merely perusing your wares. This is a, this is a shop, right? You sell all sorts of spinny pads. I would love to purchase one of your spinny pads. 
All right, let's see if the psychic animation is the same as it usually is, or if they change that up too. I haven't seen the psychic animation. I've seen, I haven't seen a lot of the animations for a lot of the moves, actually. Let's go fire off a big psychic here. Okay, what's this gonna be like, okay? It's the same. All right, it's exactly the same. That's completely fine. I mean, it's, it's a little bit updated, but it's basically the same. Level 24 for Komodo, though. Congratulations. Arbok coming in here. All right, that's an easy one at KO. Dude, Alakazam is so strong. Let me tell you, how strong is he? He's strong enough, mentally anyway, to read three books at the same time. That's not like he puts down one book, picks up another, and reads a few pages of that, then reads new pages of, you know, another one. He has all three books open at once, and he scans all of the pages, and then goes on to the next one, all at the same time time and follows all the stories and he didn't he doesn't even forget the minor characters names if it's a storybook right you know like for example i don't know um if you're reading like harry potter you know draco malfoy's little cretin brethren like whatever whatever they're called like i don't even know what they were called right now he doesn't even forget their names right i mean i'm sure there's some big harry potter fan who's like uh well actually the name is uh, Jonathan the Third and uh, a, a Simon the Fifth. I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's good, right? That, that I'm happy for you. But to be fair, most people, I feel like most people don't really remember the names. Though, also to be fair, I haven't read a Harry Potter book for a while, and I haven't seen a Harry Potter movie since. God, when was the last Harry Potter movie I watched? Oh my God, um. The last Harry Potter movie I watched was probably, I think it was Order of the Phoenix? I think? Or was that the last book I read? I think the last movie I watched was Goblet of Fire, and the last book I read was Order of the Phoenix. So it's been a while. It's actually been a while since I've read any book, so I should probably get back on that. But the thing is, there's so much stuff to do in a day that so many videos to record and edit and render and upload, and I gotta stream every day. Gotta do so much. I, you know what? Now I'm thinking of it. I should take more time to just do other things. But hey, gotta be on the hashtag grind, all right? Gotta play Pokemon. <laughs> gotta play Pokemon every single day. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy there. You actually blended in really well there. Stop meddling. Stop meddling on Team Rocket's affairs, or else, or else what? You're gonna ask me politely to stop after I beat your ass. You're gonna ask me politely, please stop doing that, and I'm not gonna do it because why would I even bother? I'm actually gonna run out of Psychic PP pretty soon, and I kinda wanna save some for the, the Team Rocket double fight, because I know that's coming up soon. But at the same time, I could just click Psychic and win this fight pretty easily, so. You know, potatoes, potatoes, no one says potatoes. Potatoes are delicious though. What's your favorite type of potato? Here's the discussion for the comment section below today. What's your favorite type of potato? Let me know in the comment section below. Personally, if we're not counting, like, the various different kinds of chips or, you know, a fries, if you're American, that you can get, uh, I would probably say roast potatoes are, like, one of the highest tier potatoes. You know, mashed potatoes are just below roasties for me. If we're counting chips or fries, if you're American, um, then, you know, use these, these really thick cut ones that you get, and you have to, like, cook them forever. But, like, when they come out, they're, like, nice and crispy on the outside and nice and full on the inside and it's delicious and absolutely fantastic and honestly you can never go wrong with fish and chips chips if you go to like a local fish and chips generally chances are that your chips are going to be amazing they are you know you you slather them in vinegar and salt and you have a really really good time with that you know you throw some like tomato sauce on top of there if you want to so good so good what's your favorite kind of potato <laughs> or way to make potato i will keep you the love to save this whole town all right, and now we have this nonsense going on. Yeah, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> he looks so sinister. He's like, haha, I have this. There's no possible way that this could go wrong, ever. Unless Gerald was here. Yeah, he didn't account for Gerald, did he? No, 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 he did not account for Gerald. Gerald says, big on, thought. <laughs> that is a female Grimer. How does male and female Grimer work? That doesn't really make any sense to me, but apparently female and male grammar, that, that, that exists. How am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. You think so? Oh, I know what he does here. I know what he does. I like how I just look at him. I'm just like, okay, do what you want, I guess. I'll hope my bosses don't hear about this. 
Good throw, though. Actually, good throw. Considering how big that Pokeball is, it's a pretty good throw. Ha, ha, ugh. Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, I'd sure like to see you try. I know what to do here, dude. Oh, wait, hold on. I know what to do here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Pikachu's gonna get up there. I'm gonna throw Pikachu up there. Uh, uh, alternatively, Alakazam, just fly. Go and get it. Or levitate me up with your psychic powers. Alakazam, please help me out here. You seem keen on the PP up. Well, that's fantastic. Listen, you're not getting a hold of it because you refuse to help for some reason. It's like that end of Fallout 3 thing where you, you're you supposed to go into like a radiation-filled room to stop some giant explosion happening and you have a companion who is immune to radiation and will not take any damage from it at all and the companion's like, No, you have to do this. It is your destiny. And you're like, buddy, I'm gonna die if I go in there. Why don't you just go in and do it for me? He's like, no, it is your destiny, friend. I believe in you. You can do this, friend. I'm like, if you were really my friend, you'd stop me from dying by going in there and dealing with yourself. But sure, okay, whatever. And now I'm playing as Pikachu! Yay! Oh my god, this is this is great. I'm playing as Chubb. Look at Chubb go, dude! Look at Chubb go! Chubb! 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 Wait. Chubb? Ch Chubb? <laughs> there you go. Look at Chubb go. Didn't even drop his glasses, dude. Didn't even drop his glasses. There you go. Ch there you go, Chubb! What a good boy! Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Oh, Pika Pikachu. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. Must have just been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried about nothing. Yeah, you get over here, Chubb. Can I just play as Chubb for the rest of the game now, please? That'd be fantastic. I just want to be Chubb now. Just let me be Chubb. Chubb came back to you? God, I hope Chubb came back to me. I bet you if Chubb just got the lift key and like skedaddled and never came back. Poor t <laughs> I feel I feel pretty upset about that one. All right, well, we got the lift key. Does the guy not hang around so I can talk to him afterwards? I mean, I guess not. This is a red candy, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Thank you very much. Then we head up here. This, I think this is a healing area, actually. So let me go ahead and heal up here. Gerald, stop clipping in things. I told you once. Look who finally showed up, huh? Go word from upstairs that you were coming. Wow, really? I mean, you... <laughs> if you really were looking for me, you wouldn't just sit in a corner and stare at a wall all day. If you were really trying to stop me, you would have actually done something to stop me instead of staring at a wall. Dude, I'm gonna one-shot you. I have Gerald. Gerald! No one can beat Gerald. Especially not a level 29 gold bad. Who do you think you are? Get out of here. Literally leave this place. Oh my god, I love Gerald. It's so good. He's so strong. She's so strong. She. She. Keep getting that wrong. I'm sorry. She is so strong. There you go. Perfect. By the way, it's this, these Team Rocket Grunts, the female ones, they're bad, dude, they're bad. Dark Pulse! Ooh. Do I even need to teach Dark Pulse to you? I don't think there's any point in teaching Dark Pulse to you. Can I heal? A guard spec? Wait, I thought I could heal here. Oh, I can't- oh, I- oh, whoops. Okay, well, never mind. Is there any point in me actually teaching Dark, like, dark Pulse to anyone? Because... It doesn't seem to feel like there is, because Dark Pulse is super effective on... Psychic and Ghost, but so is Shadow Ball. They're super effective on the same things. So why would I not just keep Shadow Ball? Is Shadow Ball super effective on- I mean, I guess Dark Pulse is not immune to, um... It's not immune to a, a normal. So I can hit normal types with it, I suppose. But then again, if I'm fighting a normal type, I'm just gonna use Psychic. Is there any benefit to Shadow Ball, actually? I mean, it lowers special defense, or has a chance, but Dark Pulse has a chance of flinch. They have the same base power from what I can remember. Hmm, that's a rough choice there, boys. That's a rough choice there. All right, in we go, boys, in we go. Down to floor four. Now, if I remember correctly, there's like three people that you have to battle here, so let's see how this goes. Let me go into my party. I'm gonna throw, yeah, I'm gonna throw Chubb into the front here. There we go. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much. All right, Team Rocket, let's throw down, dudes. Let's throw down. You! You're the twerp from Mount Moon! 
Just how long are you gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? I want to rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? We gave the poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're gonna let you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils in Mount Moon, you brat. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, guys. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was my... That was my brother. Um... Batters. <laughs> that wasn't me, I promise you. Okay, so Arbok is the main threat here from what I can see. So I'm gonna double into Arbok to make sure that thing dies first turn. What level are they? Level 32. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of an issue for me. So we're gonna Psychic into Arbok and we're gonna Thunderbolt into Arbok as well. I don't think Weezing can one-shot me. In fact, if Weezing goes for Explosion, then, you know, fair play to Weezing. But I don't think this thing should be able to one-shot me. My Pikachu is faster than my Alakazam, which is interesting. All right, down goes Arbok. Thank you very much. Just wheezing left now. Please don't use explosion. Please don't use explosion. Please. <laughs> Sludge. Okay. Oh god. I. Those moments when you don't know what's gonna happen. Jeez. Okay. All right. Big psychic coming off here, boys. Big psychic. I... Does it matter that I targeted the wrong thing? I don't think it does. I should have light screen. No. Nah. There's no point in light screening. I should be able to knock it out this turn. Yeah, big Pika P. Big Pika P hit there. Good job, guys. And Weezing is gone. Fantastic. Didn't even have to worry about it. Didn't even have to worry. And then we get experience. Thank you very much. Caldogo gets some level 29. Okay. Level 30. Okay. We're, we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Oh my god, James's face. No infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were teeny tiny but stronger. Oh my god, Jessie's face too. She's like, how did I get myself in this position, dude? I could be like married to some old rich dude. Exactly. Even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force to. Ah, no, you won't, because Chubb's gonna smack you silly if you try it. Yee! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Sure does look like that's happening. Okay, so next up we got Admin. Which I need to heal. I need to, yeah, I need to heal, right? No, not the poke box. Not trying to open the poke box. If I D-dance on Gyarados, that'd be amazing, but I don't, unfortunately. All right, Super Potion, you up. I do have Calm Mind on Gerald, I guess, but. I don't know about that one, honestly. I don't know about that one. Oh no, I'm pretty sure the, this guy has, this guy has, what does he have? Oh, he has, um, he has Weezing. So I should just lead with my ground type, obviously. I should just lead with my ground type, right? Yeah? Oh, what kind of voice can I give you? Um, I just want to look at the subcomp and it's plain to see. Subcomps definitely have the technology and skill to try rocket needs. We'll need to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Silph Cove or Team Rocket. Yes, sir. Oh, hey there. What's a child doing here? Let's do our conversation without saying a word. Uh, I think I'm mute. I don't think I can speak. I don't much care for that. I'm Archer, an animal of Team Rocket. I don't go easy, even on children. I'm very angry, and you can see that from my angry expression on my face. I'm gonna beat you up. Look how angry I am. Sorry, I mean, I'm smug now. I'm, I have a smug face now. That's what I changed to. I changed that. All right, Weezing. You know what's gonna be really odd and feel really weird is using Dig on Weezing right now because I'm so used to not being able to use Earthquake or anything on, like, flying Pokemon. We're gonna be able to use Dig this time because there's no abilities in this game. Oh, you have Flamethrower. Wow. Look at you go, Mr. Special. Oh, and that didn't kill? It's gonna need another one? Okay. Mr. Special bought himself a flamethrower to you. Oh, that hurt, actually. Jeez. All right, back down the hole you go. Back down the hole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm messing up your office, Giovanni. I just need to do this, okay? Come on, big, big, big hit off here. There goes Weezing. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming along, Weezing. Thank you for coming along. All right, 500 experience. Cheryl is level 28, yes. Golbat. Okay, now this is something that I definitely can't use Dig on. No, 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 go, go, go back, go back, go back. Okay, no, there we go. Go into Chubb. Go into Chubb. Chubb is the perfect switch in here. He'll use his amazing style to dazzle his foes. 
or something like that. Air slash. Oh, we eat those. That is a cool animation, though. All right, big thunderbolt here. I always say, I always say that. I need to stop saying that. This should kill, though, right? Oh my God, you lived! Wow, I am, I am impressed. How did you live that? No defense drop. Okay. Yeah, you need to go. I need to get rid of double kick too, because seriously, double kick is. Double kick has got to go. It's not. It's not necessary in the moveset anymore. I do have light screen, which is kind of nice, though. And I will. Uh, we'll say that. Five hundred experience points. Thank you very much indeed. What a blunder. Yeah, you are. Oh God, your face, dude. His head. God, the proportions are all wrong on this. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Uh oh, it's the big bad. Hold on, uh, Mr. Big Bad Giovanni Man, can I have like a second to heal? He's like, uh. Sure. Like, thank you, Giovanni. I just need to heal up a couple of my Pokemon. I appreciate this. <laughs> Let me just, okay, uh, I'm almost ready. I'm almost, hold on. I, I need to put another Pokemon to the front of my party. He's like, what do you mean, front of your party? And I, so it gets sent out first. He's like, just just send it out first then. It's like, no, it's not how this game works. I need to put it to the front of my party first. All right, now I'm ready. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate that. That was very nice of you. So you defeated Archer. I must say, I'm impressed that you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Why would you just give away your proper name like that? What, you want me to release the Cubone? Hmm. <laughs> You came barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. I have a feeling this world of pain isn't going to be that painful, but we'll see. I mean, I hope it's not that painful. I have no idea. I, it might be. Persian? Can I 1v1 a Persian with my... with Komodo? I wish I had Intimidates. I really do wish I had Intimidates. Level 35! Wow! Oh! 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 Okay, Gadzooks! Yeah, but it's time for you! Yeah, I haven't seen you all episode, but uh, I'm gonna need your help for a second here, buddy. Fake out, that's absolutely fine. That shouldn't do too- Ooh, there's a little bit of damage there. Okay, I'm gonna sleep powder you and see what happens. Slash, don't crit me. Uh, I landed the hits. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a Mega Drain here. There's no way you're gonna wake up turn one. You can't wake up turn one. You at least have one turn of a sleep. Okay, I get a big mega drain off here. I get to regain my health, and then hopefully I should be able to live a crit afterwards. If it happens. Okay, that's almost a 2 KO. Almost. All right, are we gonna live a crit? Ah, uh, it looks like we can maybe live a crit here. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when I get crit this turn. When he wakes up second, yep, yep. Yep, when he wakes up second turn and... Oh, he didn't actually crit me! Wow, I'm impressed, Persian. I'm impressed, you didn't crit me, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, where are we right now? 62. It did like 40 damage, so I can live a normal hit- Oh god, the back of this thing looks terrible. Gee, did they even try on this Persian? Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, let me heal up here. I'm a little bit worried about this situation, not gonna lie. Level 35 is not what I was expecting, to be honest. Even though I played through this part of the game, I just completely forgot what- <laughs> I totally forgot what happens in this bit. Okay, slash. Do I live a crit? That's okay. That's 40 damage. I don't. Yeah, I do live a crit. Actually, I do live a crit. Okay, we live a crit. Watch. See? Ah, I was hoping it would happen at least one time so I could prove my point. Just one time. I just wanted it to happen one time. But it's fine. I'm pretty sure he has like what right horn next, isn't it? Yeah, right horn. Komodo's level 25. Okay, good. Still not exactly where everyone should be, but there's a lot of training to be done around the area, so that's totally fine. There's a Rhyhorn. Yeah, that's not... That's not much, dude. That ain't much. Give me all that health back. Ah, oh, beautiful, delicious experience. And, and health, actually. All the way back up to full. Oh my god, all the way back up to full. Look how good that was. That was fantastic. Two, and, and a level up, too. We're being so generous today. Thank you, Getzooks. Look at you go, Gadzooks. I'm proud of you. Well done. What? This can't be. 5.6k? Thank you for your generous contribution. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. 
Aw, oh, ma. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Oh, okay. He He's just giving out things for me, I guess. I can see you raid Pokemon with utmost care. But you would never hope to understand, or you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. The only thing you hope to achieve is to get a bunch of money. But I hope we will meet and battle again. Unless they're talking about Rainbow Rocket, in which case that was some weird stuff that went on with Rainbow Rocket. I'd say, ah, oh, he went back to Lavender Town. Yay, we can identify the ghost. I know. Thank you for letting me know, though. All right, so we have managed to uh, claim the self scope. We have defeated Giovanni, and we didn't lose anyone during the doing of any of that. So. That is going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do destroy that like button right below this video. Make sure you check out the description for my Twitter, my Twitch, my Instagram too for all the cool things that I do. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you guys next time.